ice, get it chocolate. Throw the game when I walk into my block list. Got my ex trying to put me on a What's up YouTube? It's Coach A back at you with another video. I'm gonna go over the sled pool and exercise that every athlete should incorporate into their training for multiple reasons. Some of these do include knee rehab, knee strengthening, knee endurance that could be used for conditioning. As we know, have you ever had that feeling where your legs are just burning out like on the field? Well, that's something that you can mimic here with this drill. And again, I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'm ready to kick it. Give me the step, but you know I'm a flip it. Right in the shit like I'm them and they snick it. If she looking back. All right team, first is knee strengthening. If you're someone who has weak or troubling knees and can't squat, this may be perfect for you. The reason being is that there is very minimal knee flexion and extension going on. If you see me, I am barely sitting back. By staying taller, you add less stress to the knees while still making massive gains. As you progress, you can begin to sit back more and more into it, overall making your knees stronger and more efficient. Next, if you're looking to get some mass and strength on your quads, then look no further. The sled drag allows you to continuously push with your quads heavy weight at higher volume. This means you must continuously increase intensity either with load or distance covered. Progressive overload is key for building muscle, so begin with 10 or 20 pound increments, meaning don't go up 45 pounds every progression. And obviously you see me being pulled by my partner, which if you don't have a sled, that's something that you can do. And obviously the harder they pull, the harder it's going to be. Remember that slow and steady gains wins the race. You'll want to pull between 20 to 40 yards for attaining strength with heavy load. Another way to utilize this exercise is by making it into conditioning, where you will pull for longer distance and less load in comparison if you are going for pure strength. As we all know, you always end your workout with conditioning, giving you the opportunity to completely gas out your body and more specifically the anaerobic energy system. Here you want to pull between 40 to 80 yards. Now how exactly do you incorporate this into your training? You can begin at 2-3 to three times a week. As far as incorporating this into a session, it's very simple. Either replace this with your squat variation for the workout or perform it at the end of your workout as conditioning like I explained. For example, imagine this is your first block of training. Pull-ups, squats, and bear cross. Replace your squats with the pulls. You can go 20 to 40 yards for three heavy sets for strength like I talked about earlier. For conditioning, do between 40 to 80 yards. What you see in the video, I did 40 yards, rested for a minute, and repeated for a total of 8 reps. Other ways of performing this exercise include pulling it by incorporating your upper body which will allow for total body work, grip strength, stability, and an even more distribution of muscle. You don't want to be all legs and no upper body. And again, if you don't have a partner, grab a harness grab a rope, something that allows you to completely pull the other person so you can still apply that same resistance. Remember, you don't need fancy equipment to get a great workout in. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram and share this video. Please, that really helps grow my channel out and help me reach as many athletes as I can. Like always, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.